Bates Jr. Reloading. Uh, did another upgrade on the Dillon XL750. This is the uh, stock case camming pen. You'll notice that it's uh, all metal with a metal pointed tip. And what they like to do is grease this back here. And that lets this ride on that plastic with grease on it. But it's, it's not a bad design. Uh, I just don't think it's as clean as it could be. So what you've noticed here is I have upgraded that to the um, entirely crimson. Uh, let's get a better view of that. Entirely crimson case camming pen. I just got it installed and adjusted. Now, speaking of adjustment, in order to adjust this, there is a nut on the top of that um, where that sets. And let me uh, switch this so you can see this. So there's the nut right here. You have to loosen this, take it off to get the old one out, and you're gonna put a hex wrench into the top of this um, to back it in and out, which is also how you adjust it once you get the new one in. This uses a larger hex wrench uh, for this one, which is again, part of the toolkit with the Dillon toolkit, as long as you have that. Otherwise, you'll have to find a hex wrench um, that fits this. And I believe it is the 3 uh size for this one. All right, so anyway, we've got the first case in here. We're gonna go up into the sizing die. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is, obviously, if you're not far enough forward, what's gonna happen is you're gonna come up into the sizing die, it's gonna hit the lip. So you're gonna know right away, okay, I, I don't have this adjusted correctly. Okay, so we're gonna come up into that. Now we're gonna go first one to station two the next one into station one and now since this has a dead primer in it when I push forward that's it okay and this is where I adjusted it with a case in station two with a dead primer so that when I'm adjusting it I mean let's face it when we're doing progressive that's how you want it to have adjusted, as if a primer has been seated into that brass. So that's how you want to adjust it. Don't adjust this and just run crazy before you get into a full run, not having a case in station two with a dead primer to adjust this handle being pushed forward to where that stops here in this adjustment. Okay, so now if we go up, What's gonna happen is we're gonna expand station two and station one is in the sizing. Okay, now, here comes the third one. Again, station two, dead primer. Station three is the powder check, which that's what you keep hearing go off because obviously we're not running any powder. Station one is again a case. So we push forward just like we would if we were priming, so on and so forth. And all three are in there and I come up and you can tell it's nice and smooth. Nothing hit. Okay, so that's it. It's that simple. Now, obviously, I'm just gonna run these through and I'm gonna short cycle this to get them out of station four here. Uh, because I want to not leave them uh, flared. So I'm just going to come up in here and just run them through the sizer real quick and bring them out of uh, station two right here while I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. There's that one. There's that 
that one. And then, uh, boy, my hands are just not big enough. Okay, now I can just recycle this. Okay. There we go. So anyway, guys, um, that's it. That's how I adjusted it. And uh, the other thing I want to uh, point out to you is you'll notice you want to make sure this is square here to this, okay? You rub all that grease off too because you don't need any of that anymore. Clean it up. I used a little rubbing alcohol real quick and just clean that up. But you want to make sure that this is squared off to that plastic face. Don't have it turned to one side or cockeyed on an angle. You want to have that straight, just like you see it there, with that. So that you get full contact to that ball bearing uh, to this as it moves up and down. All right, guys, that's it. Um, it's smooth. I don't have to worry about greasing this or worrying about that anymore. It keeps it nice and clean. Um, and so that's that's the upgrade. I like it a lot. I bought it myself. I'm not being paid uh, by them or anything like that um, from Entirely Crimson, but it's a good product on the uh, case camming pen. And so I'm glad I did it and I wanted to share it with you. Uh, please leave any comments, suggestions, um, and God bless you and your family, and have a great day.